You are welcome to the GMAT 41's YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to show you something very important about integration. I've been thinking about this and I told myself that someday I am going to talk about it. The integral of this function, 1 over x dx. If you're given the integral 1 over x dx, usually we say that the value is going to be ln x. Okay, that is integral 1 over x dx will be ln x plus c. And oftentimes, this integral of 1 over x dx giving us ln x is considered as part of our standard integrals. But my question is, does it mean that integral of 1 over a function would necessarily give you ln? of that function in the denominator, I think this is a very important point that I consider should be discussed so that we would actually know the real deal regarding integral of this function, okay? Because I usually prefer that this integral of 1 over x dx comes under the technique of integration, u substitution, case 1, where you have numerator and denominator. If I say that the integral of 1 over x dx is going to give me ln x plus c, what do you think? What if I give you integral of 1 over x squared dx? What would be the value? Perhaps you may evaluate it to be ln x squared plus c. You know, based on that said standard of integral 1 over x dx. However, today, the GMAS 41 wishes to tell you that the whole idea of integral 1 over x dx producing ln x is this. That if you are given such expression to integrate, check the denominator. Differentiate the denominator. If the denominator being differentiated, what you get, if it is the term in the numerator, then we can conclude that such integral is ln of the denominator. Now, I've taken my time to think about this standard, and I, I was like, I would prefer this integral 1 over x dx is not considered as a standard. It's not considered as a standard integral. Rather, I just feel, anyway, that's my opinion, but I guess it has actually worked well, that, that integral 1 over x dx giving us ln x plus c should come under u substitution. Like I said, the first case, the case of integral 1 over u du, which is the same as integral du over u. Because according to that technique, the idea is this. If I give you an integral term in quotient form, you have numerator, you have denominator. If you differentiate the denominator and get what is in the numerator, then the integral of that term is simply lean of the denominator. As a quick example, if I have integral 2x all over x squared minus 5 dx. Integral 2x all over x squared minus 5 dx. All I have to do is to differentiate the denominator x squared minus 5. I will differentiate it with respect to x. And if you differentiate x squared minus 5 with respect to x, you are going to get 2x. Because the derivative of x squared is 2x, if you differentiate that constant minus 5, you get 0, so you kick it off. Now you notice that that x squared minus 5, if you differentiate it, that's the denominator, it will give you 2x. Check the numerator. What you have there in the numerator is also 2x. Therefore, since the derivative of the denominator gave us what is in the numerator, the integral of this expression 2x over x squared minus 5 dx is equal to lean of the denominator. That is, 
ln x squared minus 5, close your bracket, plus c. So what has this video taught you? This video is specifically highlighting the importance of you understanding the meaning of integral 1 over x dx giving you ln of x, which is simply ln of the denominator, n plus c. This video is bringing to you the fact that you shouldn't confuse this with a general concept of saying, okay, if integral of 1 over x dx is equal to ln x, plus c of course, constant of integration, then maybe if you have integral of 1 over x squared dx, the answer should be ln x squared plus c. This is wrong. Because integral 1 over x squared dx is not ln x squared. It's not. And hence, in conclusion, I am suggesting that it is best to consider that integral 1 over x dx, which is ln x, should be taken to be technique of integration rather than standard integral. Because learning that as a standard integral, one can be quick to conclude that integral of 1 over any variable, any function, will give you mean of what you have under as denominator, which is not the case. The answer that it is lean of the denominator follows U substitution technique of integration that if you differentiate the denominator and get the numerator, then the result is lean of the denominator. Do please subscribe to the GMAS 41's YouTube channel and of course, go through my playlist in this channel and there are a lot you can learn from GMAT 41. I hope to see you in our next video lesson.